I guess paperwork of being a teacher is hard because um, I just want to teach. That part is hard. If the kids are having a bad day, I want to make them feel better, or if they're emotional, I want to make them feel better, and you can't always. Um, oh, the hardest part being a teacher. Not be able to go to the bathroom when you want. That's pretty hard. Um, no, I, that's a hard question for me. I mean, I, I love my job. I love being here. I love everything I do about my job. It's challenging, but I don't feel like it's hard. She is a nice teacher. I don't know if I would have the best teacher without her. You have to know who they are as a person before you can teach them. You are not going to get a perfect class full of 25 kids that, that learn the same way. So to become a good teacher, you have to just know their personalities. You're going to have kids who need to stand up to learn. Let them stand up. You're going to have kids who you know, aren't going to have the perfect handwriting. you got to accept that. Um, so that I think you just, you gotta build that relationship because if you don't have that relationship, you're not gonna have that respect and bond that each of your kids will have with each other. She's been the best teacher to us and she's been teaching us good. I get to know them one-on-one, -on -one. I get to know their families and I have kindergarten kids that I taught in kindergarten that are now eighth graders and I still have that bond with them and that's rewarding. She always tries to work hard to get us better. I had great teachers growing up that helped kind of put me on the right track. I grew up with single moms, so I needed my teachers and my school as another home. So I wanted to get do the same thing. She helps us learn every day and all, every day and she's really nice to us. Seeing them realize that they can do pretty much anything they put their mind to, I think that's pretty special. She does, she lets us do fun paper she, after we finish our real paper. It still shocks me how capable kids are. If you give them the opportunity, how much they can do, they surprise me every day. Just with, they're, they're so, they're like little sponges. And they, they're amazing. And we sometimes don't give them credit, especially the little ones, we think they're babies, but they, they can amaze us every day. Sheila doesn't give us any homework, and our homework is only at school. I want them to know that they can do anything they put their mind to if they work hard and they have a positive attitude that they can do or be anything they want. And to be kind to each other and be part of our world, a positive part. We do like a lot of fun activities. Like we make penguins and stuff. Go, Go Miss Martha! I think she should be Teacher of the Year because she explains things to where like we know it and if our friends still don't know it, we could explain it to them because she, she taught like us to where we know it and we can tell friends. Um, they persevere and that light bulb goes off and they get it and their eyes light up and it just becomes easier for them. That's really special and I really enjoy being a part of that. She helps us when we get hurt and she makes sure that we're okay and protects us and she makes us feel welcome. I really like creating relationships with them and I think that's a really important part of teaching is being able to have a relationship um, before they can learn anything. She always Comforts, comforts us when we're feeling sad. And she makes us feel good about ourselves. I think they put, she should be teaching me because she's sweet and kind to us and she teaches us things to us. I have the ability to help the people that are going to be running our future. She's very, she teaches us everything we want to learn. And the most thing she teaches us is of like math. When you see compassion in your kids towards each other, um, like I try to teach them over and over, be kind, care about each other, help each other. And when I stand back and I watch something happen and it plays out and they're compassionate with each other and they help each other, that's huge for me because I've, I feel like I did my job in that aspect um, that I'm helping make good people. Miss Hammer, teacher, teacher, teacher.